We're just gonna smash all of this and go crazy. Yeah, I'm about to pop off, guys. Thank you, my man. Have a nice day. I love people, bro. People are so nice. So earlier today, it was reported that DC's original plan for their DC Extended Universe before the WB Discovery merger was that they were gonna adapt Crisis on Infinite Earths. I just wanna emphasize how crazy it is that DC was gonna do Crisis on Infinite Earths. That's like Marvel doing Secret Wars after the first Avengers movie flopped. The best part is that in the Crisis on Infinite Earths story, Barry Allen sacrifices himself. In somewhere out there in the multiverse, I wanna visit a universe where this actually happens, experiencing Ezra Miller's Barry Allen dying. Like, I don't know if people would be crying the way they did when Tony Stark sacrificed himself. I have a feeling that that wouldn't go the way DC would want it to go. Bro, do you ever have like some evil intrusive thoughts, dude? Yeah. I don't know why, but you just rolled down the window, bro. And I just thought of your camera just <laughs> falling on this highway, bro. Yo, oh my god. This man literally just started laughing at a <laughs> So guys, Josh and I were just talking about how easily someone can just poison like our water and food supply. I have this long running theory. All of us actually have superpowers, but in order to keep us under control, our government, they contaminate our, our food and water supply. So like that, our, our powers are harnessed. We don't have our powers anymore. And this conversation got sparked because we were talking about how Starbucks recalled all of their oat milk. There was something that was contaminated within the oat milk. It's just adding to the theory, bro. You, you know how easy it is for them to just like put something in our water and then boom, we don't have powers anymore. Bro, I should be flying right now. I shouldn't be driving. We should be flying right now, bro. All right, we're straight. Oh, imagine. <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good to see you. So good to see you. Look at us, early birds. I know. First oh people God, here. What's, What's up, bro? We got the squad rolling in deep. You can't put on a pair of gloves out of these box for me. All right, this is gonna go way to the back of your brain. You ready? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's gonna be real gentle. You're just gonna feel a little tickle. Oh, he's a tough guy. He's got it. I, I got it, bro. I'm down packed. I do this on the regular. Come on now. Yeah, man, I know. <laughs> <laughs> show? Oh, thank you, man. So right now we're filling out a rage room and car smashing waiver. I like that. I like the sound of that. I'm, I'm gonna rage. This is like, dude, on the regular, I rage. Dude, I was about to rage when we were freaking paying for the parking meter. How do I add time? I'm not rage. Use pin pad to complete transaction. I was about to rage, but like now I can actually rage. They got the room set up. For real. Yo, look, these are, these are the weapons. We're just gonna smash all of this and go crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm about to pop off, guys. I'll pop off for real. Oh my god! Yo, Matt, yo, you be okay, dude? Bro, what'd I get you? Bro, in the face, dude. Bro, what on the face? Take off the camera. Take off the camera. Nothing. I'm about to say, bro. Come on, bro. It was a bait, bro. I'm about to carry you out of here. I was like, what? 
What happened to my boy? So the plan is we're gonna do like some on the fly like social stuff. We have you first, Matthew Ramos next. Who's gonna be here? Wanna. What's up, boss? What's up, how y'all doing? Hi. Hi. So you're a real life boxer, bro. You got the yeah. heads, you got the smoke. Yes, this right. is what you do for a living. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure some of us just still almost like a idol for you growing up. So what was it like to get to work with him on a film like this? Man, working with Sly was dope, man. He was a super nice guy. And you know, just being able to work with somebody that is so in the boxing world is just dope, man. Argue about who'd win this fight and that fight, and I won the majority of the bets. But... <laughs> hey, winning a bet against Sly, that, that's something to flex, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. He's a boxing historian, though. He knows the stuff. This is obviously a superhero film. How do you think this film separates itself from like the traditional superhero movie in today's day and age? Man, I think it separates itself because it has like um, a superhero feel with like a dark twist. It's a lot more raw than something you would see. Now tell the fans that are watching around the world, why should they be hyped for Samaritan? Y'all should be hyped for Samaritan because Mr. Sly is in it, you know, and who doesn't love superpowers? And Javon, Javon's in it too, so <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, you got the hammer? I'm gonna try one time on my hands, and if I can't get it on my hands, I, I can't throw it too hard though, or I'll fuck my shit up. Shit. Fuck that. Oh shit. Oh my oh, god. god. Oh, this thing is strong. Yeah. Holy shit, what is this? Oh, <laughs> this is good. How do you feel about that? I have a taste for blood and metal. <laughs> no, it felt great, bro. Like, got to bust the window. I always wanted to bust the window like I was some type of scoring deck, but it felt good. Work, bro. Work, bro. Chocolate chip. Yo, bro, we, we just put in work now. We're gonna get fat again. Bro, I wish I was joking, guys. So you know how earlier I was talking about a bit about Ezra Miller? Another chapter in the Ezra Miller saga just dropped. It says, authorities are trying to locate a mother and her three children who had been living at Ezra Miller's Vermont farm. They are trying to serve the mother an emergency care order demanding the children's removal from her care over safety concerns. The saga never ends, bro. This is ridiculous. How are you gonna release this movie? I don't understand. Like, I get that it's $300 million, but this is, I've never seen this. I've tr genuinely never seen this. Like this is, we're all kind of speechless until the next thing comes out. It's, it never ends.